Om Shai Ram friends, this is Venkatvasasa.com. Sometimes in your life, you have to face a situation that where people blame you for no reason. You feel embarrassed. You feel uh, people will, will do character assassination of you. Uh, so I want to share this to you because you think that Baba is there for you. You are watching a Baba. You are taking, Baba is going to take care of you and everything will be fine in your life. No. Sometimes, irrespective of the fact that you are devoted to Baba, you will be facing situation where people blame you for no reason. You will be insulted. And if you are too innocent and uh, not very careful these days, you have to be very, very careful. Um, uh, so, this is the experience I want to share with you. Two experiences. One which happened two weeks back. And the, now the first experience is something which happened to me. Uh, Probably in 2017 or 18, okay? So I was working in this IT organization where uh, in my team there was a girl and I told her, uh, you know, there was an internal chat, right? So if I think I did a mistake. I, I saw that girl as a friend. You know, what news I had with her? There was a very famous venture. He's not a venture capitalist. He's an angel investor. So this guy... Uh, got caught uh, misbehaving with a girl. Okay, that was the news. I read the news mm. and I said it with this girl. I think it's my mistake. Why he said this news with this girl, I really don't know because I used to, anyway, with, within guys, he used to say, see, this is this guy got caught like that. I, I said it because I used to learn, read about news about startups, VC and all those stuff. So I said the news with her. I think, is this something wrong? I don't know. Even now, I don't know whether it is right or wrong. But of course, it is not official uh, news. It was like, anyway, it was in the startup scene. It was uh, trending. Everyone was reading that news. Um, so, and I had something to do with that guy. That way, that is why when he's got, I was happy. Because many years back, uh, he was heading a, a very famous private TV, TV channel. I was trying to look for opportunity there. And he didn't give me that opportunity. <laughs> so when this, after many years, when this guy is getting caught and I saw that news, I was very happy. Okay, see, this guy is getting caught. Uh, so that is why I was excited. And with my excitement, I said this news to her. And I don't know whether it's right or wrong even now. Maybe it is not right. But I didn't do anything to her. But the, what is that to complain for a girl in this issue? For six months, without my knowledge, this was running in the within the team, within the organization. And finally, one of the other HR, this guy, he told me, this man, he called me and told me, see, uh, Venkat, we, these people are, the, you know, uh, have a complaint against you. They came to me with this complaint. Uh, but then I don't want to believe this because I know that you are not that, you are not that kind of person. But this girl has raised a complaint against you. And I was literally shocked because after that also that girl was talking to me casually as uh, as always. And I started yelling with this head of my team saying that, see, this has hap happened and you should have first told this to me without my knowledge. This is happening for six months. You know, the one who was uh, the director of the company, he asked very plain and simple one thing. He asked, okay, share me the chat data. <laughs> and they were not able to share. <laughs> Um, they were, you know, and he, maybe he, they were able to share and he said, okay, this is, he just said a news. What is wrong with that? You idiots. And, uh, he said, you know, don't complicate all these things. Now I want to warn you guys, you know, every organization, there is a team, right? You know, we are taking care of women in this organization. This fucking team is a stupid team. I'm telling you, there are some good women also. There are some bad women also, you know, what this kind of women do someone who is heading this kind of team that, oh, we are taking care of these girls. You know what they do? They will be looking for some opportunities. They will be looking for opportunities, whether, oh, guys, some, someone is someone doing something to a girl. Okay, nobody is doing, all the girls in this country are safe. 99% of the time, don't worry about it, okay? You know, they will be looking for opportunities, whether someone is doing something. And this lady is heading that kind of team. I don't know what kind of the government has some team, you know, they want to organize. And this woman had a excitement of, you know, this girl going and saying that Venkat sent me some new story, which I was not comfortable to read. And she started, uh, you know, internally raising this issue without my knowledge. The problem is that 
if something has happened in an organization what they are supposed to do immediately they are supposed to call me and ask what happened to me because you are speaking bad about me correct and that never happened after 6 month this is uh, coming out and i yelled at them like anything it was an office where the other side there was this director of the company the this side there was the head of hr someone i don't know whatever the designation is now uh but i was shouting at her saying that how how dare you i told her how dare you raise this issue without my knowledge i told her the very day same day you should have called me and asked me what has happened then if something has happened then and i told her uh, uh, and if if uh, if you were able to prove this you i would have gone out of the office right all this time you know uh, times mean you know months back but you were not able to do anything and all people all these people have dumped you um so you uh you just wanted to create a scene this is one experience i want to share with you that no matter how good you are if you are too good if you are too innocent um these days apologies me when i am saying this but to be very honest with you the law and order in this country in this nation is in the favor of women okay no matter what happens you can very easily blame a man in this country it starts from a home it starts to an organization it's it is in the society too it's like that legally if you see women have uh, the upper hand when it comes to legal issues uh, so that is one thing i want to share with you because i still have a thought process in me why this girl thought about me like that number one number two uh, why this happened to me in my life being as i dot why people and everyone you know even the top management they told me when i yelled at them they shouted at them they know that i was right that they are supposed to include me because you are speaking bad about me so they are supposed to you know include me in the conversation at least because if there is a real mistake in me i would have apologized okay this was this happened years back and now post uh, fast forward to one year back baba showed me a dream in which in which uh, he told me venkat i don't want you to work in one particular organization because there i applied for a job over there because now i am a freelancer only and baba said no your time is not good again you will be facing these kind of blames and i am trying to ensure that you don't get into in, get into these kind of problems and uh, the very next day this dream came and the very next day there was a dream sorry there was a post on linkedin saying that some when employee raised an issue you know like raised a face issue against a man and i think this man is a married man i believe and he could not able to prove himself so he committed a suicide he committed suicide so that story was on linkedin so i launched an exclusive website where i launched a campaign in favor of both men and women if something some issue has happened in your organization you should are uh, not do should not do this kind of blame game you should clearly inquire who is really wrong and then who is really wrong and then um, should not blame people that is it so that is what uh, i want to share with you now the second incident happened two weeks back uh, i usually go to a very famous departmental store it's a chain of department store here in coimbatore it is 2 kilometers from the saiwa temple i go every day so there what happened uh, i was every week i used to buy lemon oranges for my mother lemon other stuff my mother wanted lemon because i i offer lemon garland to baba lemon garland to lord murgan and all the goddess i love okay uh, so um so i bought it and when i am about to come out of the shop this guy caught me saying that uh, i took a uh, you know that washing the To, to wash the vessels you buy the powder that washing powder without touching the fruits i was carrying like this so he thought that i am just picking and going out actually i went i went out after going to the building counter only then i showed him the bill he, but he said no this washing powder is not there in the bill so you just simply picked it and going out and i felt really painful because why this is happening i was like i told him everyone are watching me you are telling me as if i am i stole this and going out out and i told him i can pay pay this to you but i wanted to see the cctv camera and i want to and i want you to get clarity that my job is to only to go to the billing counter and i don't have habit of checking whether what are the items it was whether you build more or less i don't know so he immediately went to the i was shouting at them at this point of time because yelling shouting 
because when they saw when they saw the cctv camera they could clearly see the product was the washing powder or something that uh, was inside the basket the girl also kept it in front of that uh, scanning machine maybe the machine was at fault so it didn't scan properly so the the girl was also very polite the girl in the counter uh, she was she apologized to me the guy who caught me also apologized to me he's of course an ordinary employee of the department store now i shouted at them everyone in the shop were looking at me i started yelling shouting saying that see i was in hurry to go to sahaba temple i took this and it is your problem with your idiotic machine and i don't care what is happening with this you have to apologize the only thing i told him is okay mistakes do happen it's a process issue now i have told them you have to apologize to me coming to the same entrance <laughs> they said okay they agreed to it but then the manager someone the so called manager came there and he was he was shouting at me he told me how he told me how dare you shout i said i will shout because you told me that i am a thief so now i have you have to come there and in front of all your employees you you apologize to me <laughs> uh, i yelled at them maybe i would have handled it more softly but you know someone is telling that you are a thief how can you handle it softly some girls there are were laughing at me those girls don't know that if if they have spot spotted them in my situation if they were called as thief what will they do are they going to handle it softly and if they are handling it softly it is their idiotic mistake you are you cannot handle these things softly as so i held that them but the manager was very stubborn i told him you are supposed to apologize to me one sorry is enough he said i will not ask sorry this is just a process issue i came back home i told my mother i think my time is not good I just went to the shop because that's my favorite shop. Sometimes after the Sahiba Temple, yeah, so after the Sage Arti, I go to the shop. I go all the way to Sahiba Kalni. Go here and there. One of my friend, I meet him. He says he's very poor, so I just simply meet him and then I go to the shop and then I go home. Um, so I, <laughs> fortunately for me, this shop got some seven hundred crore funding from a equity private equity firm in Canada. so they are expanding their store fortunately i know the co founder of the departmental store i don't want to rename the store as his name i have his email address because in 2018 i did a, i went to a startup event and i met him he spoke well to me and we said a lot of things i did photography of him so i with that uh, i i sent an email to him saying that uh, all that happened in the store to him so he replied to me after four days he never replied so i felt very bad i told him i will never go to your store again i like the shopping experience there uh, even when my sister comes from us i used to go there uh, but then again he saw that and he was very kind someone who's may you know who is he's a billionaire now he should be a millionaire now so he immediately sent me a whatsapp message saying that uh, it is it, he told me it is because of people like you your man your mother we got uh, this kind of uh, you know uh we are uh, we have grown so big in this uh, city so he told me uh i will take care of it <laughs> why i am sharing these two incidents to you um uh, first message is that this is a very very bad world for a man to survive you can say it is also a bad for world for a woman uh but legally if you see women do have an upper hand legally i am telling you you leave the other stuff legally women are, of course that that is necessary in some cases i agree agree to it but sometimes my mistake is that sometimes i do, i don't know or i didn't really realize that not all people are in an organization are friends for example these days i do freelance uh, recruiting um if even if i'm saving a number of a candidate who is a woman i told them i tell them see i am saving your number with your permission i try to be very very careful in whenever i deal with any women these days extra careful uh, for you know because of the past experiences i had and uh, and this is a very painful experience right i i get scared even to speak to someone even when when i went to the us that you can speak, go and speak to anyone you know even when you know feel a meter strangers but sometimes i try to be very careful when when i speak to women especially because of the past pain i had and uh, the experience i had in the shop again it is an example of how sometimes you might have to face a blame on you when you are actually innocent 
there are two ways to handle it of course i always handled it handled it emotionally some people have it handled it very diplomatically i never handle anything diplomatically i handle emotionally and i i yell at people i ensure that i am right and you are supposed to apologize to me so what i'm saying you with that sai baba is that sai baba is taking care of us but society has also changed there are not uh, not all women are good there are some girls who are really good they are gem but my fate is that i only come across women who are not that kind to me or maybe you can say i've trusted women who have not been that kind to me or good to me that really scares me uh and second thing why this something like that happened in the shop to me why i have to be blamed as a thief maybe it is my karma that that particular day i am supposed to be blamed as a thief so i have said a lot with you but eventually all i wanted to share with you is that do not uh you know people do mistakes in this world a man can do mistake women can do mistake a child will do mistake but do not exaggerate exaggerate that now what happened to me that in that organization was the women who was taking you know what is the team they call you know the you know where the they have a you know a grievance cell for women i forgot it mm, women employees so maybe that lady who was uh, in the leadership role of the team whatever in that company she was exaggerating it she wants uh, she wants to ensure that she wants to show off that she is taking she is protecting girls in that company of course don't worry about it girls are <laughs> always happy they are actually already protecting themselves you don't have to go and exaggerate stuff which is which is not really true which is not really uh, uh, which is not really uh, that that wrong i said a new story of a venture capitalist who misbehave with a girl as a news as a just is a news to the girl what is wrong in that i don't understand <laughs> and if the girl don't like that she should have always come and told me then she should have not been my friend correct she should my uh, conversation to her towards her should only be official but i think she was not a friend basically but she used to speak to me as a teammate that's it so that is why i wanted to tell you this sai baba will protect us but sometimes so in society in an organization where you work things happens so we have to be careful that is what i want to share with you i don't know whether you watch this video for so long but remember i have faced a lot i faced enough in my life i faced i've been ashamed i've been insulted i've been uh, shattered in my life and i used to question sai baba why this happened to me why me and i don't know he never answered that is it and there is another story in the which happened to me in the same company and there also sai baba had a role to face uh, play in that too which i will share with you sometime later that is it guys if you want to share your experiences message me any time of the day or you could always email me these days nobody sends a long email to me <laughs> Don't are the days when Sai Devoti used to write a long email. It will be nice to read that, whether I reply or not. Anyway, Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram, Om Sai Ram. Whatever happens in your life, it happens for a reason. So try to live this life. Stay strong, Om Sai Ram.